13 News Now investigates life inside Virginia's prisons. Violence can erupt any day at any given time. For the first time, we are sitting down with an officer from the Virginia Department of Corrections. We have been reporting on a shortage of those officers for some time. Now we are getting a first-hand look at the dangers those officers face every day behind bars. This is something the 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller has been looking into. Well, David, we've seen what happens when prisons are short-staffed. Inmates try to take advantage, people get hurt, lives can be lost. And we saw this in North Carolina. We did, and that led us to more information about the situation here in Virginia, because officer after officer got in touch with us, and they want everyone to know they're not the only ones at risk in this situation. The public is as well. Imagine walking into your job every single day feeling like this. Now I think day to day, please God, don't let nothing happen. To this officer, whose identity we are protecting because he fears losing his job, you might say, well, you work in a prison, you signed up for this. And he'd respond, this situation, this time in corrections, this is different. You can work in a prison and be safe, but when you're understaffed, nobody's safe. With these staffing levels, it is a regular challenge of how to work in a prison. You're in there shoulder to shoulder closer than we are, a couple feet away. And return home alive after your shift. You're constantly surrounded by felons, um, violent offenders, rapists, murderers. This veteran officer says the situation has only gotten worse. He's seen people go on their lunch breaks and never come back. The data backs him up. A DOC report presented to lawmakers shows a steady increase in the turnover rate, leaving it at almost 30 percent. Several current corrections officers tell us DOC spends tax dollars to train officers. Then in many cases, they leave for the private sector or better paying law enforcement jobs. Do you think the inmates know just how short staffed the prisons are? Oh, God, yeah. Is that dangerous? Extremely. At the drop of a hat, they can take over any given time for any reason. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. We've seen it happen in other states. Just over a year ago at Pasquatank Prison in North Carolina, inmates tried to escape. They killed four people in the chaos. Federal investigators say a staffing shortage played a role there. In Virginia, this officer's mind goes to that worst case scenario. What if inmates succeed in taking over and in breaking out? And they're the same people that are locked up on Roman Street. And now you got them roaming around schools, you got manhunts, and some of these guys are lifers. They got nothing to lose. So what's the fix? This officer says better equipment and fewer overtime shifts filling in would help, but the main issue is pay. While many COs are now getting a small raise and bonus, we've learned Virginia officers are still well below the national average. The decision to allocate a large pay bump falls to the governor's office and the General Assembly. This CO believes that will only happen if people hear the message of officers who put their lives on the line every day. Their safety is actually in our hands. They've got to trust us and do our job, but it, like I said, any time, it can go south quick. I just really want the public to realize that there's really good people out there doing a hard job, and they need the support. So what's been the response from the Department of Corrections and the governor? Well, we've been talking to people in both offices, and they maintain officer safety is a priority for them. They also say that they've been working to recruit new officers. So we'll see how that affects the situation that officers are telling us about right now. And this could take some time. It could. We don't know what the effect will be, but we'll continue to cover it.